गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर टेंथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सिंस इट्स अ वीकेंड वी वुड नॉट हैव अवर रिविजन सेशन रादर वी विल इंक्लूड मोर नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर सेशन फर्स्ट इज दीन बंधु छोटू राम थर्मल पावर प्लांट रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज इज लोकेटेड in which particular country so this is a 800 megawatt unit in yamuna nagar in the state of haryana and it is set to be completed in 57 months okay so 6900 crore rupees tender was awarded to bharat heavy electricals limited by the chief minister of haryana mr manohar lal khattar in a high power workers purchase committee meeting and the ultra super critical unit of this plant will increase the capacity by 8% definitely it would reduce the coal consumption and electricity cost also it is aligned with the make in india initiative and uh, it employs indigenous technology that would ensure uninterrupted power supply and it would feature advanced small sized components for faster eco friendly electricity generation right so din bandhu chhotu ram thermal power plant lies in the state of haryana now apart from it these days lupus disease is in news why because the researchers from australia have recently developed a solution for the lupus defect basically it is a kind of disease which prompts the immune system to harm your organs and tissues that definitely causes inflammation in skin joints blood and vital organs like kidneys and the heart okay the origin of this disease is totally unknown and uh, it is believed to be a result from a blend of genetic hormonal and the environmental factors uh, predominantly it affects the women and uh, different variants are there in lupus okay so you can be simply ask that the term lupus which was seen in the news these days is related to what so it is a kind of auto immune disease fine next question is according to fits predictions what is the estimated fiscal deficit for india in financial year 2025 to 2026 so fits ratings predicts that india's fiscal deficit will reach 5.4% in 2025 to 26 which is higher than the government's 5.1% target okay and this prediction is due to more conservative revenue forecast for financial year 25 also fitch expects the central government's fiscal deficit to be at 5.4% in financial year 25 and the aggregate state deficit to remain around 2.8% of gdp further fit says that the slow pace of fiscal consolidation after the pandemic could leave india's public finances exposed if there are major economic shocks okay so as per the fitch what is the estimated fiscal deficit for india in this financial year answer is 5.4% next is sipahi jala wildlife sanctuary recently seen in the news is located in which indian state this wildlife sanctuary lies in the state of tripura and why it is in news because recently it has welcomed new additions including the two royal bengal tigers two leopards four gold pigeons a silver pigeon two tea fowls four hill mynas that's why the sanctuary came into news okay it was established in the year 1972 and uh, this sanctuary spans in 18.5 square kilometers which features different sections for different animal types also it houses diverse flora with 456 plant species and various fauna that include the leopards clouded leopards etc fine so this sanctuary also boasts a rich avian population with the species like winged stork and white ibis fine so simply you have to remember the location of sipahi jala wildlife sanctuary it lies in the state of tripura next is recently which institute has successfully established and tested india's first hyper velocity expansion tunnel test facility here answer is d option iit kanpur they have recently unveiled jigar thand it is written as jigar 
ठंड ओके इट इज इंडियाज वेरी फर्स्ट हाइपर वेलोसिटी एक्सपेंशन टनल टेस्ट फैसिलिटी दिस इज अ ट्वेंटी फोर मीटर्स लॉन्ग एस टू फैसिलिटी एंड इट हैज बीन डेवलप्ड इन ओवर थ्री ईयर्स इट इज लोकेटेड एट आई टी कानपुर हाइपरसोनिक एक्सपेरिमेंटल एरोडाइनमिक्स लेबोरेटरी एंड इट इज फंडेड बाई ए आर डी बी डी एस टी एंड आई आई टी कानपुर फर्दर इट कैन स्टूमुलेट हाइपरसोनिक कंडीशन विद फ्लाइट स्पीड्स बिटवीन थ्री टू टेन kilometers per second okay so this jigger thund will play a crucial role in advancing our aerospace technologies which would definitely support the missions like gaganyaan reusable launch vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles for isro and drdo fine so it kanpur has successfully established and tested india's first hyper velocity expansion tunnel test facility b option is it madras it was also in news because it madras and munitions India Limited are partnering to create India's first domestically designed 155 smart ammunition okay so this is a two year initiative which works under ministry of defense and it aims to achieve a circular error that is maybe of 10 meters it is significantly improving the precision in the defense organizations or operations so basic focus of this project is on enhancing accuracy and lethargy using the guidance system and advanced technologies and the 155 mm indian smart ammunition is compatible with the existing artillery guns that would feature the fin stabilization canard control and a three mode fuse operation for various tactical requirement definitely it marks a crucial uh, step towards self reliance in the defense production right so simply you can be asked that recently which institute has collaborated with munitions india limited to create the nation's first domestically designed 155 smart ammunition so your answer would be iit madras okay next is recently where was the himalayan griffon vulture reported during the inaugural tri state synchronized vulture survey so in the inaugural tri state synchronized vulture survey 320 vultures were tallied across seven protected areas in the state of kerala karnataka and tamil nadu so this himalayan griffon which is an old world vulture from the axipritidae family was exclusively reported in vayanad wildlife sanctuary and being among the largest old world vultures and true raptors it exhibits a solitary nature and their distribution spans the himalayas tibetan region and the central asian mountains and don't forget that uh, they have the conservation status of near threatened by the iucn okay next is where was the great indian boat reboot road show 2024 held so the indian institute of corporate affairs hosted the great indian boat reboot road show 2024 at the nse headquarters that lies in mumbai in collaboration with nse india and the bombay stock exchange fine so this event united 200 delegates or more than 200 delegates including the business leaders governance experts which would address corporate governance challenges and they have here highlighted the importance of diversity adaptability and technology integration in board composition also panel discussions explored the topics like technological advancement innovation environmental sustainability and the broadening spectrum of diversity in the corporate boards so basic aim is to set new benchmarks in indian corporate governance discussion fine so what was the venue for great indian board reboot road show answer is mumbai that is d option now apart from it our minister of state for heavy industries have recently revealed the samarth centers to the lok sabha okay what is the full form of samarth it stands for smart advanced manufacturing and rapid transformation hub okay and it operates under the enhancement of competitiveness in the indian capital goods sector scheme and these centers help the msmes by organizing the different events on industry 4.0 which would conduct the training for awareness and uh, yes it will offer consultancy in the areas like 
Internet of Things, Software Development and Data Analytics. And further, it would provide incubation support to the startups. Definitely, it would contribute to the workforce development and technological advancement. So you can be simply asked that what is the primary objective of Samarth scheme that was seen in the news these days. So the basic objective of Samarth scheme is to provide assistance to the MSMEs. Fine. Next is recently which city of Uttar Pradesh received the Center's Water Warrior Award. So Noida has been honored as a Water Warrior City by the Union Water Ministry for outstanding efforts in wastewater treatment and its reuse. Okay, so this city boasts eight sewage treatment plants with a total capacity of 411 million liters daily, which would treat 260 MLD of sewage here. Also, 70 to 75 MLD is repurposed for irrigation purpose and uh, not for irrigation but also for construction, firefighting, pond maintenance, road sprinkling, etc. Okay. So Union Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat presented the awards in Delhi. Fine. So Noida has been awarded with the Center's Water Warrior Award. Now, apart from it, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to address the World Government Summit in Dubai on 14th of February. And this is his second invitation since 2018. So this annual event brings together the global leaders to discuss the pressing issues and it is scheduled from 12th to 14th of February and this summit is a significant diplomatic platform that emphasizes the strengthening ties between India and the UAE. As evident from UAE President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan's recent participation in the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit, right? So you can be asked that where is the sixth edition of World Government Summit being held? Your answer would be Dubai, UAE. Next is, recently Ahmed Awad bin Mubarak became the Prime Minister of which country? So recently he became the Prime Minister of Yemen country. Also he is the country's Foreign Minister and uh, was previously the Yemenian Ambassador to the US. Fine. So who is the new Prime Minister of Yemen? Answer is Ahmed Awad bin Mubarak. Next is, Divikala Mela recently seen in the news is organized by which ministry? So Divikala Mela is launched by Ministry of Social Justice and Employment. Recently, it started at Agar Tala. So, Minister Ratan Lal Nath and others inaugurated the event, promoting the disabled artisans' creations. And uh, this program empowers the disabled entrepreneurs, which aligns with uh, our core mission of creativity and empowerment. Fine. So, Divya Kala Mela is associated with Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Also, recently, Union Minister of Education, who is also our Minister for Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan, launched the Atsil Vidyanjali Scholarship Program in New Delhi. And this program aims to support the students who are academically gifted and meritorious, but they lack financial means to pursue the education. So, Ministry of Education launched this Vidyanjali program in September. 2021 to strengthen the schools through community and private sector involvement and this program aims to increase the quality of education that is provided in the government schools by taking help from the private sector and community fine you can be asked that vidyanjali scholarship program which was recently seen in the news is launched by which particular ministry your answer would be ministry of education okay next is what is the theme of national black hiv aids awareness day 2024 so this year, the theme is Engage, Educate, Empower, Uniting to End HIV AIDS in Black Communities. And National Black HIV is an opportunity to increase HIV education and to increase the testing, also to increase the community involvement and uh, to increase the treatment so that we can promote HIV testing, prevention and treatment and stop HIV stigma. Fine. So what is the theme of National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day 2024? Answer is Engage, Educate, Empower. Can you tell me when do we observe this day? Please write your answer in the comment section. Next is, recently which country of South America has declared a health emergency due to surge in dengue fever cases? So this is Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, 
they have declared a public health emergency due to a surge in mosquito borne dengue fever just days before the carnival despite the outbreak carnival festivities are expected to proceed and rio city hall has implemented different measures like 10 care centers an emergency operation center and dedicated hospital beds also smoke carts will disperse the insecticide in high incidence areas with over 10000 cases in 2024 the municipality faces a significant increase compared to 2023's a total of 23000 cases so dengue is a kind of viral infection and uh, it thrives in rio de janeiro's tropical climate with frequent rains and high temperature fine so here correct answer is brazil country next is chief minister vayoshri yojana recently seen in the news is launched by which indian state answer is c option maharashtra maharashtra government is enhancing the well being of the senior citizens and bolstering the cooperative societies with a comprehensive set of initiatives it ranges from welfare programs to the development projects and these efforts underscore the government's dedication to citizen needs and state wide growth so chief minister vayushri yojana introduces a crucial financial help of 3000 rupees for over 15 lakh senior citizens who are above 65 and they are facing physical or mental disability which demonstrates our commitment to support vulnerable members of society fine so chief minister vayushri yojana is launched by which indian state your answer is maharashtra now these days karnataka is also in news because kyasa noor forest disease which is also known as the monkey disease poses a significant health threat there in karnataka so this year 49 confirmed cases and two fatalities have been recorded from the state and it originated in 1957 from the kyasa noor forest and this disease is caused by the kyasa noor forest disease virus fine so uttar kannada district has seen the majority of cases which indicates a concentrated outbreak zone which leads to intensified efforts by the health officials so as to control the spread okay you can be asked that uh, monkey fever or you can say kyasa noor forest disease which was recently seen in the news has emerged in which indian state your answer would be karnataka which indian state recently inaugurated the thami against the drugs campaign so here answer is b option uttarakhand who's the current chief minister of uttarakhand mr pushkar singh thami he started the thami against drugs campaign which started on 5th of february and it would last till 10th of February. This initiative signifies the state's determination to combat the drug abuse and establish a drug-free society by the end of 2025. So this launch featured the unveiling of campaign merchandise which would reinforce the government's dedication and uh, also they have emphasized the campaign's importance in addressing the pressing social concern. Fine. So Uttarakhand state has recently inaugurated the Dhami against drugs campaign. Now these days VSN is in news. What is it? Vaccine Safety Net. Can you tell me? It is an initiative of which organization? So, Health India Project has joined the World Health Organization's Vaccine Safety Net program, which would reinforce its commitment to deliver credible vaccine safety information in India. And as part of the global network, THIP means the Healthy Indian Project becomes a reliable source for verified vaccine safety details which would contribute to WHO's initiative to provide accurate immunization information worldwide. So VSN is established by WHO in the year 1999 and it comprises diverse websites that offers reliable vaccine safety information in various languages with the Global Advisory Committee on Vaccine Safety ensuring the swift responses to the global concerns okay you can be asked that vaccine safety net which was seen in the news is an initiative of which organization your answer would be who means world health organization so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today i hope you have liked the session and uh, from monday we will continue our revision session as well now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. 
so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off